And there was just one race remaining in the regular season. That is tonight. The wild card of all races is here at Talladega Super Speedway. It is round 25 of the Northwest Truck Series. This evening on LSR TV, your home for sim racing. Good evening, everybody. Welcome wherever you are around the world to the Talladega 212. Here presented by Swag and LSR TV from, well, it's supposed to be Lincoln, Alabama. But actually, the racetrack is in Anniston, Alabama, just outside of Talladega. I'm Wesley Outland in the booth. Joined alongside is Washington State's Greg Rentz. And running the production, the executive producer of LSR TV in Texas, Charles Wooten. Greg, 12 drivers will fight for a championship after tonight. But the question is, will you survive the wild card that is Talladega? And there is no better way to describe this 2.66 mile super speedway than exactly that, Wesley, the wild card. This racetrack produces some of the most white knuckle, fly by the seat of your pants racing imaginable in not just iRacing, but in the world in general. And Talladega, Alabama, the home of so many iconic moments over the years, is going to host another one here tonight with the Northwest Truck Series playoff cutoff race. Here's tonight's race information presented by RaceOnTexas.com. One hour practice has already concluded. They're having the drivers meeting right now. When they get on the speedway, it will be for two lap qualifying to set the best lap of time. We have got a field of trucks that will battle in the 80 lap contest that is 212 miles. Let's take a look at the weather conditions for Talladega this evening as well as it's presented by SawBlade.com. Ambient temperature outside 77 degrees, partly cloudy sunny skies wind temp at four miles per hour just dropped down to three the track temperature about 30 plus degrees warmer than that at 102 degrees that's going to be very interesting for this race this evening greg yeah, looking forward to seeing what this hot track temperature does for this restrictor plate race because, Wesley, we've talked about it before. Restrictor plate racing, an entirely different type of animal. You are right up on the back bumper of the truck in front of you with the truck behind you right behind you. And talking with some of the drivers during that final practice session before we headed up here to the broadcast booth, they said these trucks are, quote, very darty. They're dancing around when you get right up behind the truck and you have a truck right behind you. They like to dance around. Even on the straightaways, it's hard to keep them straight. With that extra hot track temperature, that could be playing even more of a role than what we've seen already. So looking very forward to seeing what's going to happen here in this main event. 12 drivers will be locked into the playoffs for the quest of a championship for season seven of the Northwest Racing Truck Series. Right now, Dan West Jr., the man that is leading the points, he has eight wins on the season as we move into his 19th race on the season for round 25 tonight. 16 top fives, 18 top tens. He has a points lead, 44 points back over Jeff Stab now, who also has six wins. Stefan O'Hare is third in the points with two wins, three wins for Devin West and the winner last week at the Daytona Road Course of Sean Brightsman. Tyler King is in the points with no wins in sixth. John Audenbacher seventh with one win. And then you have drivers like Corey Walters, Stephen Paulison, James Vining, Ryan Maines, and even Frank Harris that are trying to make it into the top 12 when the night concludes here at Talladega. Drivers also like Dan Lowther, Ray Fournier, Carl Burke, Christopher White trying to get around Thomas screen and others to advance into that top 12 positions which is what's going to make this race so unpredictable because you've got drivers fighting for their playoff lives and a chance to win a championship here in the Northwest Truck Series, the first one here on LSR TV under this branding. So a chance to really win a championship in front of a big audience. It can come to an end for some of those drivers tonight. It will come to an end for some. It's all a matter of which one is it going to be. As we get set to go, this is going to be a wild 80 lap race.
And after tonight, it is off to Atlanta Motor Speedway. Hot Atlanta to decide round number one of the playoffs. And again, the drivers in the round of 12 that will battle it out here to try to make it into the round of eight from there. The playoffs again, 10 race series. We will decide the championship sometime in January of 2021 at Phoenix when it all comes down to the end. Drivers meeting is just about to wrap up. Qualifying is forthcoming. We'll step away, getting you ready for the talent. Talladega 212 from the Talladega Super Speedway. This is LSR TV, your home for sim racing. More in a moment. ETE Reman is the world's best remanufacturer of transmissions for import and domestic cars and trucks. Based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, our customers are repair shops, auto parts stores, dealerships, and distributors. And with six nationwide warehouses, we're where and when you need us. So when you're looking for a transmission that is like new, only better, instill confidence and install ETE Remake. here at the Talladega Super Speedway getting ready for round 25 of the Northwest iRacing Truck Series on LSR TV. Your home for sim racing as the drivers will be ready in just a few moments to hit the speedway. There you see Frank Harris. He's the driver that is currently 12th in the standings trying to survive tonight and put that truck in the playoffs next week at Atlanta, Greg. And he was fast in practice, Wesley. That's the thing about the Lega that makes it so much fun is you find some different characters up near the front. Frank Harris in the 11 was one of those guys who was near the top in practice by using the draft. But that's the thing also with Talladega. Anything can happen in 80 laps to distance. And we see one driver already taking the time, Eric Cheney, the 71. He's going to fall to the back with an EOL penalty for going out and hitting the track before it was open. So... Cheney will start at the back of the field in the 71. That may be by design, Wesley. That's a strategy we see quite often in Talladega and Daytona. Drivers want to start in the back and just kind of ride around. And by the way, might I add, what a field of trucks we have as we're watching Frank Harris in the number 11. He was really quick in practice, now getting ready to try to set the bar. Upset wins can happen here at Talladega at any moment. And right now we're seeing Cheney at the top of the board, 56.042. Eric Cheney in the 71. And now Frank Harris comes by the start-finish line, this time by. He'll now put his first lap on the board now as he is on the clock in the number 11. So Harris trying to get up to speed. We also saw Ryan Maines in the 13 a moment ago in the Atari truck. Always love seeing that truck out there. But Frank Harris, he's been fast in practice all day. So curious to see what he can do. And Wesley, notice, much like in Cup cars, you're up riding right against the wall on that first qualifying lap, building up as much momentum as you humanly can before you cross the stripe to get down. And then on that second lap for qualifying, you want to be pinned right on the double yellow line down there. 2.66 miles here at the Talladega Super Speedway. By the way, the final round of the regular season for the Northwest iRacing Cup Series will be Monday night, 11.15 Eastern Time on LSR TV as well. And then it's on to the playoffs for everybody. As here comes now the 11 of Frank Harris crossed the line, 56.506 seconds. Actually, they're gonna change it to 504 for the driver. Third quick on the board, but right now they're running down Eric Cheney in the 71. Dan Lowther, what a good run for him. He's second quick. John Audenbacher just wrapped up a lap of 56.708. He's good enough for fourth. New quick qualifier. Ritters goes to the top of the qualifier. board. Now Gabriel to the top of the board. Gamble. Now Gamble to the top. As we just watched Toby Ritters. Now Robbie Gamble. 55.967. The new quick qualifier. First 55 of qualifying for Gamble. In that number 54. Joined the league about a month ago. In that 
number 54 truck. But Wesley, a little bit of a different uh, thing here tonight. For just the second time in series history, we have a female driver in the field. Young Ellie Musgrave has entered tonight in the number 16. Only the second female driver in Northwest Racing Series history tonight at Talladega. Joining the race on a wild card race, could she possibly steal one tonight? There she is in the number 16 of Ellie Musgrave. We'll see what she can do now. 12th on our first lap, 56 point. 2-3-0, the best lap there for Musgrave. Good enough for 12th right now is Gamble. Audenbacher has moved up to second fast. Harris is third. Lowther fourth. Walters is the top five. And now it's going to be actually Harris. Uh, well, actually, Stefan O'Hare just went to the top of the board in the number 41 machine. Stefan O'Hare just bumped Gamble. Audenbacher to third. Harris Lowther, top five. Walters finding Ritters and Fletcher. Cheney, the top ten. And here comes Stephen Paulison now in the number 58 Jim Bean truck on the back straightaway to qualify. Now in his second lap, so he's right there on the line. Going to our pole sitter for just a moment, Stefan O'Hare. He has had a lot of qualifying speed this year, Wesley. He's got Got, what three or four poles this season in that number 41 so no surprise to see him up on top of the board the question though is does that translate to success in the race because Talladega anything can and will happen you'll expect to see a lot of lead changes for sure throughout the course of the night Ken O'Hare try to stay up near the front all day long as Paulison completes his second lap into the top five. He sits fifth right now, but here's the man. They were all chasing, not just in the truck race at the Daytona Road Course, but the cup race on Monday night as well, which was also here on LSR TV. Sean Brightsman in the 46, however, is slowing down. Looks like he's not going to get the lap that he wanted. Problem for Sean Brightsman as he has an issue on the number 46 LSR TV Toyota coming off of the win at the Daytona Road Course last Thursday night to allow him to pick up what would have been his, uh, let's see here, third win on the season. He also did a phenomenal, what a show he put on Monday night, gambling and ran down Dan West Jr. and others to pick up the win at Daytona Road Course. And by the way, to pull out the virtual iRacing broomstick and sweep the Daytona Road Course events there last week, uh, Greg. Yeah, it was a great performance for Sean Brightsman at the Daytona Road Course. Here you see Dan West Jr. in the number 55 coming out, getting up to speed. Points leader in the truck series and leads the truck series in wins. What'd you say it was nine on the season now for Dan West Jr.? Uh, eight wins. Eight, eight wins. wins. Yes, sir. Nine. This has been such a dominating season for the former dirt track driver in that number 55. No surprise that he won the dirt race at Del Dora about, what was it, a month ago Yes, here on LSR TV, but he has just been so dominant in this truck series, and it's been coming around in the Cup Series as well. Dan West Jr. setting up for not one, but two championship runs here and, as we move into the winter. And by the way, now Bruce Lee Weaver has gone to the top of the board as the quick qualifier, breaking the 55-second barrier. Here comes Chris White now on the speedway in truck number 83. By the way, you mentioned Dan West Jr. making his 19th start tonight. Eight wins, four poles, 16 top fives, and 18 top tens for the points leader. 44 back is Jeff Stab now, and again, here comes the next driver, Chris White. Chris White in the 83. He is 17th back in the points. Uh, a win puts you into the playoffs, and right now, he is looking for that, along with those five top fives and ten top tens for the driver of the number 83. He's won on the Northwest Cup Series, but yet to win on the trucks that could happen tonight with the wild card that is talladega yeah he's run a part-time schedule in the truck series wesley only making a few starts this season running full-time in the cup series two wins on the year was one of the first drivers to lock into the playoffs with wins coming at texas and indianapolis but has only made a couple of starts here in the truck series so that explains why he's so far back in that one but always a threat every time he's in a race so keep your eye on Chris White tonight in that number 83 to really make some noise and possibly steal a victory like you said here at Talladega. 21 trucks have qualified so far all chasing Bruce Lee Weaver who has a win in the cup side this year as well up at the Michigan International Speedway looking for that first truck win of the season.
55.811 seconds for the driver of Bruce Lee Weaver, who is on the pole currently right now. Stefan O'Hare second, Gamble third, Walters and Moore the top five. Paulison, Green, Audenbacher, Harris, and Lowther the top ten. Here comes Chris White across the start finish. 56.048 seconds for White. That will put him in the scoring pylon 16th. He has one more lap to try to put down a good lap as he's on the back straightaway now. As right now, other drivers like Torres, Tidrick, Fournier, Stabnow, West, and Brightsman yet to take time. We saw Brightsman try to attempt to qualify, but then he came back off track. And now he's back on speedway again. Sean Brightsman now going to qualify 23rd in the 46 as we still watch Chris White work his way for the final lap around on the clock. White coming around for lap number two. But Wesley, going back to Brightsman, we've seen this before out of Brightsman where he starts near the back but just works his way up to the front. So Brightsman, no uh, no real concern in that 46 camp right now as he knows he's got 80 laps at Talladega to get himself back up there. 80 laps seems like it could be long at Talladega, but when you're – Anxiety is up like it is at Talladega. That's a sprint race here. You are going to be going for it all out. There is no hanging back, waiting it out. 80 laps is go, go, go. Get to the front as fast as you can. Looking forward to seeing what happens. And White will still qualify best at 16th in that 83 GoPro entry. And there's the LSR TV Toyota number 46 of Sean Brightsman. Will he roll off the racetrack? Right now he's locked at 23rd. And will he have at least one more lap to take time? It looks like everybody else is still not going to go onto the race course and qualify, including Torres, Tidrick, Fournier, Stabnow, and West. Even Devin West has not took time, and the clock is running out. They better decide and get out here now unless they're going to tag the back. And again, if they do so, uh, Greg, it's not going to be that bad of a situation because we see the craziness that happens at Talladega. You could be dead last in, in, in five laps, be battling for the lead. It could very well happen. But, Wesley, several drivers, including the likes of Devin West, James Vining, Chris White, and now Roy Grande, they are battling connection issues right now in the server. That's oh, wow. the, basically what we would call engine trouble in the world of racing. Several drivers, Chris White and Devin West included, battling connection issues. Right now we've lost James Vining and Roy Grande. Qualifying's over, Wesley. We're gridding, so they are not going to get a time. They're going to have to start at the back. They'll have to tag the back as, again, the fast qualifier, 55.561 seconds. The driver of Mr. Rob Bruce Lee Weaver will be the man that will be on the pole as the field gets set behind the toe of the pace car at the start-finish line. One preliminary pace lap, and then we go green here for tonight's Talladega. 212. It'll be 80 laps around the 2.66 mile Talladega Super Speedway. Let's take a look at your starting lineup as they get ready to go here. On the front row, it's Bruce Lee Weaver in the 40 machine. To the outside, Stefan O'Hare in number 41, row one. You'll find Robert Gamble with his best qualifying effort of the season in the 54 rolls off third. Corey Walters in the Hooters truck to his outside and fourth. Row number three will find Dennis Moore in the 34. He'll start fifth and sixth. Stephen Paulison in 58, row three. Rolling off inside row number four will be Tom Green, one of those drivers trying to fight his way into the playoffs with John Ottenbacher to his outside in the 89. Moving on to the next row, row number five and ninth, Frank Harris. Remember, he's the man that is on the bubble in 12th to try to make it into the top 12 for the playoffs. And to the outside, Dan Lowther. He could pull an upset and try to cool in here and make some points count to get in. He's in the 63. He'll start 12th. Many people have said Tyler King is due for a victory. It could come tonight at Talladega from the 11th starting spot. James Vining, the Catman, qualified 12th, but he's one of those ones battling connection issues. He is gridded, so we'll see if he can make it out there. Yeah, by the way, I, I was meaning to say that uh, Dan Lowther will start 10th. Row number 7 starting 13th, Toby Ritter's in the 23, and there's the man that has had an impressive run since he started with the series, the 28 of William Fletcher. He'll start 14th. Eric Cheney, you can expect to drop to an EOL penalty because qual of qualifying before the qualifying session had begun with Chris White to his outside 16th. 
Row number nine, starting 17th, Carl Burke in the 53 to his outside, Roy Grande, and then he'll start in the 18th spot, 18. Then you find Ryan Maines in the number 13 with the female driver in the field, Ellie Musgrave, rolling off 20th. Only the second female to start in the Northwest Racing Series. Dan Stussy in the 78. We'll find Dan West Jr., the points leader. He'll start 22nd and 55. Final car to actually register a time is Sean Brightsman, but he qualified at a three-minute lap, so he was just coasting around. Jeff Stabnow back after missing on Monday, rolls off 24th. Starting 25th and 26th, the 72 of B.J. Titrick and Devin West in the back. They both took no time. And the final two drivers in the field will be Ray Fournay, the 26th. Chris Torres is going to start tail end Charlie. Chris Torres shotgun on the field in 28th. And there is your starting lineup. For the drivers as they get into position again, it will be a total of 212 miles, 80 laps around the Talladega Super Speedway. The final race before the playoffs begin at Atlanta next Thursday night. Sit down, strap in, hold on tight. It's about to be a war here at Talladega. It's not a matter of if, it's when the big one will happen and who can get collected. Drivers that are dominators can fault and people that are nobodies can become somebodies and clinch their ticket in to the playoffs. The pace car gets ready to drop onto the pit lane here at the Talladega Super Speedway. They work their way into the front straightaway trioval. Remember, the start finish line is adjacent to the pit road exit going into turn number one. They're going to the Geico restart zone ready. 28 charter members of the fraternal virtual order at GoFast ready to giddy up and gallop here in the final race of the regular season. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Talladega. Here they come to the line. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a race. It's time to kick asphalt at Talladega. the line and we are underway opening lap give it to Bruce Lee Weaver he will not be denied Stefan O'Hare to his inside the leader change now O'Hare to the point as they exit off a of turn two O'Hare on the inside Weaver on the outside trying the uh, extreme outside up by the wall there is James Vining the triple three had help from Ottenbacher but lost the draft with him as Ottenbacher fell back into the middle line there Vining is in trouble up there on the high side he's all by himself with no help the Bruce Lee Weaver will be the man out in front of the bottom of the racetrack we are underway opening laps O'Hare to the inside followed by also the other drivers in this mix, some drivers that are having the opportunity to move up to the front of the pack that you never see before, like Walters, like the 58 of Paulison, like Tom Green, Audenbacher, Harris, Lowther, and more in the top 10 in the early going. But right now, it's Bruce Lee Weaver and Stefan O'Hare fighting for that top spot side by side. Now, Corey Walters will battle alongside Weaver for the lead on the back stretch. Remember, Corey Walters won the cup race at Daytona to start the year off this season in the number nine. So he knows how to get it done on restrictor plates. And here he is once again breaking through on the outside. Corey Walters to the lead but Weaver comes fighting back each of those each of those drivers a win in cup series competition this year neither of them have broken through in the truck series they're leading the way right now at Talladega that could all change tonight as they work their way down the straightaway another lap
through the trioval here at the 266 mile Talladega Super Speedway. The final race here in the regular season before the playoffs. Starting at Atlanta next Thursday night. Walters on the outside lane to the inside is Weaver. Weaver back to the lead. Walters throws the block on the outside to hold off the likes of Paulison, Audenbacher, and they all stay two by two by two like leading Noah's animals to the arc down the back straight away. Looks like 180 mile per hour base lap right now out there, Wesley, as Weaver and Walters trying to quick laps away of the field, settling down, double file throughout the whole field, each lane trying to get an advantage over the other, none to be yet. Weaver able to get a nice run in the turn three with help from the outside pole sitter, Stefan O'Hare, in the number 41 as Gamble. And who is that behind Gamble? How about Dennis Moore, the 34? He's back in the series after missing a couple races. He wants to get up there with his teammate, Stefan O'Hare, but Corey Walter is able to fight back to lead a lap on the outside. And by the way, that onboard camera with Bruce Lee Weaver is presented by Swag. He wraps in graphics. Working off a of two to the back straightaway again, opening laps with Weaver out in front. This is an 80 lap contest. Everybody holding it together for the time being. Going below the yellow line a moment ago was Tom Green. He'll gather it back in. A little wiggle there in the 77. And they'll hold it off into three and four. Sending it is going to be Bruce Lee Weaver. He's out in front. Coming back to the trioval. Weaver leading the pack two by two by two behind him. And now they're going to fan back out two deep again. Still early. Tom Green was thinking about going to the inside of Moore there for a second, but Moore was able to shut the door. And right now, these guys and girls, in the case of Ellie Musgrave, they're just kind of riding it out right now. They're just feeling the field out, feeling what trucks are going to do what out there to try to set up their move. By the way, Ellie Musgrave started in 20th. She's already up, knocking on the door of the top 10 right now. As Dennis Moore is going to drop below the apron, and that's going to shuffle him all the way back to the tail end of the field. He's going to fall in line right there. So By the way, remember, the you go below there. the yellow line in real life, you suffer a penalty. If you go below the yellow line here in Talladega virtually in this race, there's no penalty at fault. It's all everyone for themselves. 27 men and a lady in this pack down into the trioval. Back out of turn number four. Walters now getting his opportunity to lead in the Hooters number nine. Chicken wing time for Charles Wooten if he can pull it off. Just to the six. outside lane, to the inside. Bruce Lee Weaver back to the bottom. He'll carry O'Hare with him while that goes on. A little chicken wing and adult beverages, if you will, between Walters and Paulison trying to battle on the outside for third and fourth from the back straightaway. Sounds like a good way to watch a race at Talladega right there. Chicken wings and adult beverages. Reaver led the lap <laughs> yes. in that number 40 by six one thousandths of a second. But Walters able to finally clear him and get down to the bottom there. That's going to allow Paulison to get a run on the outside. And Weaver able to get up now in front of him. So our leaders swapping lanes there as Walters got down low. Weaver going to try the high side now. Oh, and by the way, as we ride on board with Lowther, he's currently in seventh position, presented by Swag, E-Raps, and Graphics. Remember, they're back to the whip on Tuesday night with the Studio Displays Dirt Super Late Model Series and National Dirt Late Model Superstar and my longtime friend, Chris Allin Ferguson. And the number 22 Sweet Bloomquist entry out of Mount Holly, North Carolina, will be racing with the other Swag competitors on the dirt beginning Tuesday night on LSR TV and CRN Sports. Working it's turn number time. three. Go it's ahead, Bergie time on Tuesday nights, but here we go once again. Now we're starting to see them spread out a little bit. Top two, Weaver and Walters break away as we saw one truck fall to the back. There, did not catch who it was who fell to the back. It was Stefan O'Hare in oh, the 41, yep. the outside pole sitter. Now we're starting to see a couple two-truck tangos in a little bit of a way hook up here as Paulson and Ottenbacher hooked up on the outside. But Ottenbacher's run allowed Lowther to close back in with help from Ellie Musgrave and Ryan Maines. Paulson to the lead now in the 58. A two-truck tango and a do, -si -do two-step here around Talladega. Working now, 10 little weave there a little sideways by weaver he's got Ooh. on and to the left rear got him a little loose by the draft he'll hold off 
and let him gather himself back in, and they're still going to say door to door. Just a little bobble there from Weaver. One truck was blinking there a moment ago down the back stretch as they sail off into turn number three. Weaver back to the lead now into number 40. Can Ottenbacher and Lowther get up there for the first time tonight? They both have been very patiently working their way through the field. Ottenbacher started eighth. Lowther started tenth. Here they are leading the charge on the outside right now. Ottenbacher's got the nose in front. He's going to lead a lap. Here at John Audenbacher now puts the 89 truck for Team LSR TV to the lead. John Audenbacher, he has one win on this series in the 0-9. And that, that driver now, he's in, the, he's in the playoffs. He's in the top 12. And by the way, Wesley, that win for Audenbacher in truck number yes. 89 came at Daytona. Yes, sir. Plate. At uh, the first, uh, yeah, at Daytona is where he got it done. At the opening race of the season, back in March, a long time ago, could he win the first race and win the last race of the regular season? And before the playoffs start, 89 with a tr strong truck. But here comes now Lowther. Look at Lowther battling for the lead Dan in the Menards, Lowther. number 63. He's trying to get up there. He's going to lead the lap. Dan Wilder, the Boise, Idaho product, to the lead now in the number 63 with help from Bruce Lee Weaver. Wilder's been threatening here in the truck series, Wesley. He has got some pretty good setups on that number 63 lately, knocking on the door. He just led a lap at Talladega, but Ottenbacher able to get a run on the inside there as the outside lane kind of got discombobulated there in turn one and two while the inside lane stayed hooked up. That allowed him to get to the front. Meanwhile, Eric Cheney is trying to get up there to help out his teammates Lowther and Ellie Musgrave. Wow. Look out. Here we go. You can't block them all. You can't block the inside outside of the middle lane. And Audenbacher was on the defense there. Opens up the door for now. Steven Paulison to go to the lead on the inside. But Audenbacher will still find him back on the outside lane. He'll weasel back into that spot. Coming back to the lead. Paulison on the bottom at the tri-oval at the line. Give Paulison the lead, it looks like, in the 58. But they're still going to have Audenbacher and Walters to deal with. Lowther in that mix. And by the way, mentioning Dan Lowther, he is outside the playoff bubble in 14th. So again, a good run for him would put him in position. Steven Paulison is in the playoffs with no wins. He's ninth right now in the standings. Wow, they're fighting for his playoff life right now in the number 63 trying to get up there. Weaver in the 40 hanging back there. Wow, they are really starting to get a little unorganized on the outside line there, Wesley, as they are having a hard time staying in line while the inside line is doing a nice job of it. Paulson, Walters, and Gamble and company, they're doing a nice job of it hanging uh, or staying together. The outside lane having a hard time staying in line. We see it again here as Lowther and Weaver look low. That allows Paulson and Walters to again break free. Paulison on the inside. Here comes Audenbacher up the top shelf. Hooking up now with Lowther. Walters with Paulison on the inside. As here they work their way off of turn two. We're working now lap 11 complete on lap 12 here at Talladega in this event. For the Northwest I Racing Truck Series, this is the regular season finale. Moving on to the playoffs next Thursday at Atlanta. Turn three. Paulison on the inside. Walters is there up top side. It's still Audenbacher and Lowther. And how about also the driver waiting patiently. Gamble in that truck, the purple and white machine. He's got a strong run down to the inside under the machine of Walters as they stay to the bottom. And a couple of trucks trying to make the outside lane work way on the top shelf as they come across the line to complete lap 12. Gamble has done a nice job in that number 54, currently third in line on the inside, but losing a little bit of ground to Walters and Paulson up there, which has allowed the outside lane to get back up there, led by Ottenbacher in the number 89. Meanwhile, the inside line now is the one struggling to stay in line. As Look at the top five there on the outside lane. Ottenbacher, Lowther, Weaver, Musgrave, and Mains. They've kind of broken away from Chris White a little bit now. Top 15 or so, all double file in line, all the way back to James Vining, Chris Torres, Eric Cheney and company. Roy Grande at the tail end of this field just went a lap down in the Taco Bell Toyota. Then you find the teammates, O'Hare, King, and Dennis Moore. They're going to work together and just kind of ride it out and wait for perhaps the first round of pit stops to try to make their move.
Hey, by the way, since we're so far caution free in this race, we're going to interact with you in the YouTube chat box. This is in the YouTube LSR TV chat box. Now, I know we have other opportunities of watching on other affiliates like Facebook and more, but this is in the YouTube broadcast chat box. If you can guess the winner of the race right now on this lap, you win $25. You got to let us know who the winner will be. The first person that gets it right will win $25 compliments of 52 Media LLC and your home for sim racing, LSR TV. Well, that goes on back across the line. We're completing now 15, working lap 16. So far, we have been under the green gun with Paulison. Walters, Gamble, Audenbacher, and Green now in the top five. And there's no change in those positions right now. Everybody playing patient. It's still early. It's Ooh, still early. It's still early. Whoa, hold on there, guys. Paulson going down below the red line there. Well, we're about Walters to go three wide. Ruffled up three wide for second. And Corey Walters, now he's got to decide who he wants to go with here. Right now he's hooked up with Lowther in the 63. Paulson coming, fighting back on the inside. No harm, no foul. After he went below the yellow line, actually lost a couple spots. So no harm, no foul there. As he's wow. trying to make the inside lane work. Three wide for the lead at Talladega. Watch that middle lane as Ryan Maines gave a shot. To Paulus in a moment ago, actually to Bruce Lee Weaver, got him a little loose there. And now they're going four wide of us. Audenbacher slithered his way to three wide for the lead. As now Walters is the man in the middle. He may have caught Wall just a tiny bit, Wesley, in that 89 car. Or truck, excuse me, just a tiny Whoa. bit. Louder, he wants this lead now in the 63. He knows there's a spot in the playoffs on the line. He's going to get a move to the inside. Inside, trying to get around Walters. Weaver! No, oh, he goes to the bottom. He got sideways. He was dirt tracking it there for a little bit. What a save of the 40. Great job there by Bruce Lee Weaver in the 40 to hang on to it. Dan Lowther leads the way in the 63. Inside line seems to be where you want to go now is Lowther and Weaver up front. And then three wide for third on back. This is getting dicey. Lowther continues to lead the way here. Weaver in the number 40, tucked up on his back bumper. Technical difficulties on the part of Wesley Allen. We're working on getting him back right now in the broadcast booth. Chris Torres, where did he come from? In the number 99, he's up in the top 10 now, but now he's stuck on the high side in that number 99, trying to fall back in line. He will. Behind Chris White in the number 99. Side by side for the lead. Now Ryan Maines in the number 13. One truck below the O-line again. It's Paulson. He gets together with Musgrave. They all chase it up the hill. And we stay green for now. No caution. No one goes around. Toby Ritters may have got the wall in the number 23. Big loser in that one will be Paulson, Musgrave, and Ritters. But they all get to settle down. And now Paulson, who led laps early in this one, now has to fight his way back up as he gets hooked up with Ellie Musgrave. John Ottenbacher trying to get the outside lane working again now in that number 89 truck. He's moving with Corey Walters, who's led laps today. Chris White suddenly up in the top five now on the outside of Dan Lowther in the number 63. Back to the inside comes Maines trying to lead the way. He led the last time by. Here comes Walters on the outside into number nine. Chris White having some connection issues, but he gets down to the bottom into number 89. Here comes Ritters back up in the 23. He was in the wall just one lap ago. He wants this lead now. He's trying to get up there through the middle. He's going to get around Walters into number nine. Toby Ritter's in the wall one lap ago. Suddenly, third in line on the outside. Fastest truck on the racetrack. Ottenbacher still leading. White 
Gives him a push. Outside lane moving now. Top two have broken away. Ottenbacher and White able to get down in front of Mains for the lead. Ritters now leads on the outside. Can he now possibly get down in front of Dan Lowther? No, Lowther able to get there to the inside. Three truck break at the front. Make it four as Lowther is able to catch back up to the drift of Mains. Make it three. Chris White from second to the outside now. Looking on Ottenbacher. They're going to race it out. Bruce Lee Weaver coming back up, but it's going to be Ottenbacher leading leading the lap this time as White tries to lead the outside lane. Here comes E-Dog, Eric Cheney, the 71. He's now fourth in line on the inside line. He is in seventh right now in the number 71. Greg, back here with you, bud. We had something happen where the internet dropped. Uh, quickly got it back fixed and back on the air here as Audenbacher is the man out in front now with the number 89 machine. By the way, the internet issues was my, on my end at my home, not, not for LSR TV. But we're still live on the air. Great job filling in for me as we have still seen some craziness. And I'm seeing some new drivers that have locked into the top 10 that weren't up there while Audenbacher still leads as they come to the trioval. Yeah, you've seen Toby Ritter's Eric Cheney and Chris Torres fight their way up in Ellie Musgrave having a nice recovery in that number 16 after her little get together with Ritter's and Paulison a moment ago. Ritter's and Musgrave have recovered. Paulison kind of just hanging back there now outside the top 10. 80 laps the distance here for the Talladega 212 presented by Swag and LSR TV. Your home for sim racing. Craig Rance, Wesley Outland, Charles Wooten on the production. And again, we are underway working the first, uh, if you will, third of the race uh, or one quarter of the race, 20 laps in. 60 remain and still no yellow flag just yet. Audenbacher, now white there's the is yellow. there and there's the caution. I jinxed it. Trouble and we are under yellow flag. Sean it's Brightsman. Sean Brightsman. Sean Brightsman, last week's winner at the Daytona Road Course. Winner on Monday night here on LSR TV in the Cup Series. He was leading this group with the West family and Jeff Tab. Now that's Team LSR TV, one, two, four, hooked up with yes, the team of King, Paulison. Oh, oh stab now. Stab now, Brightsman. might have got into him. Look yeah. at everybody weaseling through there. How did they all get through that? Oh no, I see something going on in the back there, but man, that was incredible. How did everybody relatively get through that? Let's watch it up from the blimp. And by the way, blimp, copter, drone coverage presented by All American Pools. Watch the 46. It looks like the little contact right, right there, there in the left rear. And, and yeah. Now watch him fan and out. now goes off course. Look at everybody oh, whistling West. through there. West Jr. Oh, no. went around. But you know what, though, Greg, here's the thing. Before we go to commercial break, drivers like Sean Brightsman, Dan West Jr., Jeff Stabnow, they're, they're okay. This is a wild card, yes, but they're okay because they know they're in the postseason. And Dan West Jr. is the points leader in the 55, leads the series and wins with eight, so we know he's in good shape. As Wesley, are you at all surprised to see everybody making the left turn on the pit road? No, sir, I am not. 22 laps completed. We're on lap 23, and here comes the entire cavalry down onto the pit lane as the 89, a John, a John Audenbacher, brings the entire field in their kaleidoscope of colors nestled to their pit stalls. It's going to be four tires, fuel, chassis, wedge adjustment, Adjustments, track bar, whatever they can do virtually, tear off of the windshield and get back out there. Bruce Lee Weaver will make his way to pit stall one. Pit stall three for Corey Walters. Paulison behind him. Green Audenbacher is already pitted. Here comes Stefan O'Hare to pit stall two. Everyone coming off the pit lane. Audenbacher! No, Bruce Lee Weaver got out first. The race off pit road. And it's the 40, Greg, getting it done. What a job by Bruce Lee Weaver on pit road to get out in front of the field. He's going to lead us to green. Bruce Lee Weaver, Ryan Maines, John Onenbacher, Chris White, and Dan Lowther. The top five off the pit lane. Cheney, Walters, Musgrave, the Lady Ellie, followed by Tom Green and Frank Harris. Those are the top ten. We're under caution for the first time here. This is Talladega. This is LSR TV. Your home for sim racing. The restart when we return.
track here at Talladega getting ready for the restart. Hey, by the way, if you have chosen a driver and they win the race, then guess what? You get the $25. If there is a driver of the 28 that was not chosen and they win the race, then Charles is going to give them the money. That's pretty cool there, Greg. So racing for a little bit of extra incentive here at Talladega tonight. Still plenty of time to get your picks in and perhaps steal your favorite driver's money here tonight. So we'll see how it goes. You might want to keep your eyes on that 40 truck of Bruce Lee Weaver and how he's done so far today. He knows it's on here at Talladega. He has been one of the more, I won't say aggressive, but uh, definitely more active drivers in this race thus far. 25 laps about to be complete here when they make their way back to the Geico restart zone. The pace car dropping back on to the pit road. As again, now it is Bruce Lee Weaver and Ryan Maines on the front row. Granger and Atari as they work their way back through the trioval. That's where the firebox will be when they exit out of the trioval into turn one. And again, right between that white line, the double white line, the black lines there. Here they come back to the line, green in the air. Ready for the restart, 25 laps in, 15 to halfway, 45 to the finish. Back to the whip again with Weaver out in front, Greg off two. Remember, it takes these trucks about an entire lap to get up to speed here on the restrictor plate tracks, Talladega and Daytona. So they're going to be coming up through the gears all the way up until they get to the finish line next time as Weaver Getting the lead again in that number 40. Ryan Maines on the outside. Atari hooked up with GoPro right now on the outside as Chris White is hooked up on the back bumper there of the number 13 of Maines. Cheney in third now on the outside lane trying to get up there. And he's got his teammate so-and-so, Ellie Musgrave, in the number 16 behind him. Dan Lowther driving the Ford, but he's in that team as well. Watch for him to perhaps try to get up there with them as Maine's able to get to the Whoa, line. Here we go, Weaver, Weaver. Pushed down below the racetrack. He comes roaring back on the back and he tags Dan Lowther. Lowther gets collected. Lowther, no harm, no foul. He'll keep on going. He's saved by the caution flag. They have fast it, repairs. Wow. And they're 23 involved. That one. Nice silver looking number 23 or the 20. Yeah, the 23 truck. Toby Ritters. Man. Let's watch the replay. What, what a, a shot run he had. What a run he had. And, and actually, we, we're going a little too far. We need to yeah, rewind a little bit more. You need to catch up with the leaders in the 71 and the 40. Those were the ones that got together. Yeah, it was Chaney. the 71 and the 40. Yeah, Yeah, Cheney and Weaver were the first two to get together. What happened here? This is coming. Right through the trioval. It starts right here. Watch this. He just gave him a shot down to the bottom. Actually, was that, was that, that stand? Uh, yeah, the 71. Yeah. And then he goes up the racetrack. Everyone else avoiding to miss. And then there's already chaos going on from there. And then Weaver shot back up in the louder. Right. And now let's ride on board with the 40 of of uh, Bruce Lee Weaver. And you'll be able to see wildly what happened to him in the 40. Watch this. Through the trioval. The Here comes Cheney to his right side. Gives him a shot. There you go. Look fighting, out. Fighting, fighting. Oh, yeah. that's louder. Corey Walters involved as well. Tom Green might have got a piece of it. And that's why we're under the yellow flag for the second time. And, and, and I hate to say this, Greg, cautions breed cautions. And especially, that's what we have. Especially at Talladega. Does anybody come to the pits? Uh, if you're involved in the accident, yes, use the fast repair. But we only got one lap in at speed. I don't think we'll see anyone on pit road this time, except maybe for some guys in the back. Well, here comes Lowther, but he was involved in that one. But I don't think you're going to see very many takers on pit road, at least up at the front. But uh, looks like a few takers in the back of the back of the pack here. And, you know, as we watch what happened just a moment ago, we think about Dan Lowther. We think about Tom Green. Carl Burke, those drivers that are that are out of the playoff spot but can make it, they're on the bubble. 
And that craziness right there, not of their doing. As Tom Green's on the pit lane for surface. I think Devin West misses pit stall on the five. Bruce Lee Weaver is coming to the pit lane as well in the 40. He was caught up in that incident. There's, I believe, Chaney coming into his pit stall. And here comes the drivers off the pit lane. Brightsman West, the race off pit road. Dan West Jr., Sean Brightsman. Dab now West and others. Grande. All coming off the pit lane after their round of pit stops. Some having service, some making adjustments, and others fixing repairs after being caught up in that accident. Just a moment ago. Ryan Maines, the Atari. Number 13 will be the new leader. Chris White to second. John Onnenbacher is third. Ellie Musgrave, how about this young lady? Making her first ever start. Besides Violet Alexandria Miller, who started a race earlier in the summer, she is the second female. And honestly, Ellie's got it going on in that 16. She's doing good. She's in the top five. And what a story it's been as well for Ellie Musgrave. A very trying year for her. 2020 struck the Musgrave family. Ellie diagnosed with a brain tumor earlier in the season. Yeah. Had to step out of the real life car this season to get that taken care of. And here she is back in the iRacing simulator. Has done a lot of racing in the legend cars in the iRacing official service. Uh, got a lot of wins this season during the pandemic and during her recovery from the surgery for that and here she is now up in the top five here in the trucks in the northwest truck series in her debut and greg if people did not know if people did not know ellie musgrave is the daughter of former nascar driver ted musgrave as well negative 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 are they related no i not i do not believe so I mean, you got Musgrave, you got a 16. He drove a 16. Do the math. <laughs> Let's get clarification on that. No, nah, she's not. So not kin to Ted Musgrave. Just coincidence that she is a Musgrave and drives a 16. Yeah, that's very much coincidence because her <laughs> racing number is yes. 23. So very much a coincidence there. Funny one, but unfortunately not. Well, you remember uh, you remember Ted Musgrave for the longest time. He oh, drove, I remember, remember He drove the Family Channel car. It was number 16. Yeah, I remember. Well, nonetheless, well, the lights are going to go off on the pace car. We'll get ready for the restart. And we'll see what this young lady can do as she currently is in the third position, up 17 spots. She's now the second lady in history to run on the Northwest Series for Cups or Truck. And Greg, could she become the first winner in history, a female, to win on the series? Could be. She has had a very, very nice run here. And you said she wins 16. in iRacing a lot? She does a lot. She does very well in the Legend uh, Legend Car Series. And okay. has done pretty good in street stocks as well. And actually, I competed her against her in a super late model race over the summer, and she wound up winning that race too. So she has some pretty good runs here on the iRacing service. She could steal one tonight. By the way, speaking of Legend Cars, don't forget tomorrow night from Irwindale, it is the next round of the On the Rail Paints Fall Brawl. That'll begin at 8.15 Eastern time, featuring the legend cars and super late models from Irwindale. Unfortunately, I have announcer obligations for the weekend, so I will not be there. Um, somebody will be stepping out. I think Greg will be there. Greg and Charles, I think, That's is doing it. Plan. There you go. That's you. tomorrow night. Looking and then Saturday, you, coming Irwindale. soon in November, will also be the opportunity for you to run legend cars with the SWAG Winter Heat Series. All that coming soon to Live Sim Racing. LSR TV on Facebook. Twitter and Instagram. Give us a like, follow, and share as well. Here they come back inside the Geico Restart Zone out of the Trioval in turn four. Ready for the green flag on lap number 30 complete. Working lap 31. We're back underway. Ryan Maines on the jump. He's on the inside. And he is back to the lead into two. Maines trying to get the lead in the number 13, but White 
on the outside in the number 83, but here comes Ottenbacher to the outside, giving White a push as Maine's on the inside. Ellie thinks about going up the middle in the number 16. She's That's Ellie. The run. Well, she's in the middle now. She thought about it when she goes down to the inside, ducks up under behind Maine's. Couple new contenders up in the front we haven't mentioned yet. Yeah. DJ Tidrick, Carl Burke making their way up and saying And Chris hello. Torres as well. How about Torres in this battle? Nice run for Torres in the 99. Coming back to the trioval. They'll be at full song next time by. They need about a lap or two. A lap and a half to get to speed. By the time they hit the back stretch, those motors will be on the rev limiter. And speaking of that, let's take a look at the weather conditions as we approach halfway in 10 more laps or so. Looking at temperature, 77 degrees. Track temp has dropped down three degrees down the 99 there, Greg. Track temp coming down, which means these trucks are going to have a little bit more grip than they did at the start of the race. But not very much, though, as you see them dancing around. Meanwhile, those teammates, Dennis Moore, Stefan O'Hare, Tyler King, they're hooked up and trying to come to the front now. After riding in the back, missing the first couple of cautions, Bruce Lee Weaver into number 40, fresh off the fast repair. He's coming back up. Watch out for the pole sitter. He is coming in a hurry. He is hooked up in that 40 car. Where is he getting this speed from? Look at the speed he has for sure as he works his way back across start finish. Closing up on halfway in eight more laps. We're on lap number 32. 32 in, we're on lap 33 and out in front. It is still Chris White. White holding off Audenbacher, Mains. Here comes Torres in the Mountain Dew 99. Lime green truck, he's there. M M Musgrave to the outside as well. How about it for Ellis in the number 16? That's what we call her whenever right she comes on in and Weaver. races with us. But look at Weaver in the number 40, getting right back up into this lead pack. He wants this win tonight, Wesley. On board, presented by Swag. Sitting in eighth right now. Bruce Lee Weaver coming back from his mistake earlier where he got tagged. Trying to come back through the field. And while that goes on, they're getting slicey and dicey up in the front. Ooh, Tedrick up on the extreme outside there. Yes, sir. Look at him in the 72. You're running on board. Look at that view from the leader. And while that goes on, Stefan O'Hare has now weaseled back into the top 10. He's trying to get on the back bumper now of Weaver as Maine's able to get back to the lead on the outside with help from Ellie Musgrave. Chris White and John Ottenbacher bringing up the inside there. Meanwhile, knock, knock, here comes the West family. Dan West Jr. and Devin West are making their way through this top, float, top group. Back across the start finish line. Working now lap number 30. Five, working 34 complete. Closing in on halfway. The Talladega 212. 80 laps of chaos. Lowther. Oh, hold on there. Lowther starting to try to make a run back through the field as well. But there goes Tidrick. I'm sorry, that was Tidrick that actually got a little loose. Behind those drivers of Musgrave and Moore. And they work their way to the back straightaway. Audenbacher want to jump out of line. They're going to go three wide, four wide. Audenbacher thought about it. He'll clear those drivers as they go into three. Tedrick way on the top shelf of the Angels Expressway. Tedrick trying to stay up there on the outside. But he falls back in line as the top three have now broken free here in the inside line. Here comes Weaver to the inside of Torres. He Whoa, gets up Audenbacher as a result. He gave Audenbacher a shot up the racetrack. Audenbacher got punt there in the left rear. He went up the speedway. He'll hold on to it. No harm, no foul. He'll try it again. Bruce Lee Weaver to the inside. Getting the run there. He now falls in line in third. Ellie Musgrave fourth. And Ellie Musgrave still in the shot to do something here. She is currently in the top five and fourth. Hanging right there with the boys. What let's hear it for the boys and let's hear it for the girl. What a phenomenal shot. She is in a job. shot. Yes, sir. 
Not taking anything away from the lady back in the summer, Violet Alexandria Miller. But Violet is not driving like Ellie Musgrave is. Wow. Up to third, she gets around Weaver. And now making a move to the outside of White, but she wow. breaks loose in the turn one. She broke loose, had to fall back to the inside. She certainly did. Uh, and that truck could have came out from under her, and she saved it. She had O'Hara as a wingman to help her out. Three men and the lady fighting for the lead. Down Tries the back straight again. away. She's trying to get hooked up with Tidrick right now in the 72, but he falls down to the inside behind Weaver. So Musgrave is going to pick up O'Hare instead in the 41. So Musgrave trying to lead the outside lane, which is where most of the passes have been made so far here tonight, Wesley, on the outside lane. We're about three laps from halfway now. It's been Ryan Maines for the last 10 or so laps has been the kind of the one leading the charge. White and Weaver single file up front, then Tidrick breaking free of Musgrave, who's still trying to lead the high line right now. They settle down here for just a moment. We're going to go side by side as we approach halfway, so you do not miss a thing. Maines out in front. White, Weaver, and a lady like Musgrave is there. Tidrick all in the top five. Side by side, the second half from Talladega when we return on your home for sim racing, LSR TV. Based out of West Monroe, Louisiana, uh, we do custom T-shirts, racing. We'll do any, actually any shirt. We'll do uh, schools, churches, fundraisers. We do a ton of event shirts. Uh, as you can see on our board here, uh, all around our uh, banner, personalized. I mean, it, we'll do anything. It doesn't matter to us. We got the custom rugs. Um, we use all the you know top quality shirts, you know inks and everything, uh, hoodies, um, hats. We do embroidered hats. Uh, embroidered shirts, um, you know, just you can call us for anything. Uh, we do offer the bag and fold uh, to where we, you know, you can receive them and they're already labeled and tagged and bagged, uh, ready to give out to your customers. So you just call us and just tell us, hey, this is what we're looking at doing. And um, if we're going to put the car on there, it is 125 quantity minimum. Uh, if it's without the car, it's 60 quantity minimum. That's strictly on the racing stuff. Um, if it's a business or something, if you race on Texas shirts, you know, it's a little bit differently. Uh, um, you know, you can call us. It just depends on your quantity and ink colors. Everything is hand drawn. I mean, everything. We don't Photoshop anything onto it, onto a shirt or anything like that. Everything that we we go through, everything is drawn, and which is the reason for the uh, art fees. Because uh, we do have several graphic artists that draw for us, and um, you know they're really good. So, so what we do is is on any any package that you do, we can we can mix and match. We can do any colors. You can do purple, red, blue, green, and do the rest black it doesn't matter to us uh, with your design on there we can do hoodies we can do hoodies long sleeve shirts t-shirts tank tops um, it doesn't matter I mean just it's, it's almost limitless what you can do and you can put all that together in that package to make that minimum you know requirements they can call us 318-278-7191 um, or they can email us at bulletproof tees uh, at yahoo.com or they can go to the website bulletproof tees.com Ready for the second half of the Talladega 212. Part brought to you by LSR TV and Swag from Anniston, Alabama. Trouble! Bruce Lee Weaver crashes, flies violently through the air. Big trouble! I think that's Stephen Paulison actually that just got involved in that big wreck, and we are under caution. That just happened right in front of us as we were doing intro for the second half. Oh my goodness, is that Weaver? I think See it here. is. See Paulison who hooked flying. Weaver. And Ray Fournier involved. Oh, it's Oh, it's Fournier. Oh, and look. Look at Weaver fly through the air. No, that it's Ray Fournier, Fournier. my apologies. Ray Fournier is the one that got hooked. I think Weaver made it through. Man, we yeah, Weaver was there. Weaver was there. Paulison was there. You got a couple of red and white trucks there. And it's Ray Fournier. We're going to ride on board with him. And Ellie Musgrave might have helped him. Wow. Buckle Hold up on. And, Watch uh, this. Hope you don't get motion sickness. Wow. 
That was a shot. And honestly, that could have turned out a lot worse than it did. Ray Fournier on pit road, the 26. Caution out again just after halfway here at Talladega. Ray Fournier, one of those drivers that were trying to make it into the round of 12. Outside the cutoff in 15th in the points. Man. This is Talladega, Greg Rents. We talked about it. This is Talladega. We're halfway through this one here. This playoff cutoff race and drivers are racing like their playoff lives are on the line. Because for many of them, they are on the line right now. As they are just trying to get up there and stay out of trouble for the rest of this race before moving up there for the finish. I hear an air horn. They're partying over there on the boulevard. <laughs> oh, and I have personally been on the boulevard for some of those crazy parties that they have. Pit road is open. Everybody has pitted except Ellie Musgrave. She will stay on track. And Greg Rents, she will lead this lap on lap 42. Hell, how about that? Musgrave taking a gamble to stay out there. And I believe she has just become the first female driver to lead a lap in Northwest Racing Series competition as the rest of the field on pit road, Wesley. Even though it is under caution, here comes Audenbacher, but Bruce Lee Weaver's out first. Oh, no. Was that Tedrick? I think it is. Tedrick beats him off pit road. Bruce Lee Weaver, John Audenbacher, Ryan Maines, and Chris White, the top five off the pit lane, along with Carl Burke, Chris Torres, William Fletcher, Ben West Jr., Devin West, son, father, Roy Grande, Ole. And there you go. So it has been an interesting first half. Uh, Greg, what do you think we're going to see for the second half? And again, history being made. Ellie Musgrave, the first female to ever lead on the Northwest Series competition, Trucks or Cup. I think we're going to see the the intensity ramp up. But, Wesley, did you notice what I saw there on the back of the 16 truck on that last camera angle? Damage no. on the right rear. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that had to have come probably whenever she got in that accident with Ray Fournier. Got to see what kind of damage is there on the on the left re on the right rear. There's a lot of it too. That is uh, not your typical little scuff there on the right rear of the 16 truck, and that is going to make things very difficult here once she gets some help on the uh, from behind. Now that's going to be difficult for her if she's the lead truck. And I think. Somebody may have possibly radioed to her and told her that, that she does have damage. Hey, I'll tell you what. Let's try to bring her into the broadcast real quick. Let's see if we can try to grab uh, Ellie Musgrave and see if we can grab a word with her here. The driver that is currently leading the way. History being made as she is the first ever female to lead in the Northwest Trucker Cup Series competition from the West Coast. Ellie Musgrave. Ellie, Wesley and Greg, LSR TV, you have a copy. Yeah, I got you guys. Hey, congratulations. You were the first female ever to lead in the Northwest Series. Thank you. I appreciate it. What is your take of today's race at Talladega with the boys so far as we're under halfway? Um, we're doing pretty good. We decided to not pit, but um, we'll see how this goes. Greg, you got anything for Allie? I know you know her a lot more than I do. Ellie, just keep on sending it, and uh, hopefully we'll see you back here at the end of the race, Ellis. Thank you. Hey, any chance we're going to see you in the Cup Series on Monday? Possibly. Get ready for it Monday. I think that's 8 o'clock your time, 11 o'clock Eastern time where I am in North Carolina. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you for making history. Thank you. Ellie Musgrave, again, the first ever female to lead the way here in the Northwest Series. And she'll be ready, Greg Rents, to bring them back to the restart here in just a moment. Ellie Musgrave going to lead him to green. B.J. Tidrick to her outside. And then Bruce Lee Weaver, who's been far and away the fastest truck here tonight. And quite possibly the guy that a lot of people might be 
thinking they want to be hooked up with at the end of this race because Bruce Lee Weaver has been very strong all week long, got the pole, and has been very racy here tonight, charging through the field to get back up after having to take the fast repairs. So keep your eyes on that 40 truck and see what he does being tucked right up on the back bumper of Musgrave here for this restart. But Tidrick's got another one behind him as well. John Ottenbacher's been pretty strong all day too. Bruce Lee Weaver only making his, well, let's see here. Bruce Lee Weaver only making what will be his third start tonight. If he wins, uh, obviously he's out, of the, he's out of the top 30, so he wouldn't be able to make the playoffs. But to have a win would be impressive. He's got a win in the Cup Series as well. He has. So he knows how to get it done here in the Northwest Series. Got it done at Michigan in the Cup Series. Trying to get one here at Talladega. We'll see how he can do here in this second half. But that first half turned a lot of heads in that 40. We'll see if he can maybe pull something off here in the second half. So Ellie Musgrave is ready to lead the field back into the Geico restart zone for the restart. She has already made history as being the first female to lead in the series, but that was under caution. How will she fare at speed? Green back in the air. Bruce Lee Weaver to her back door. Tendrick on the outside, and he's looking for the lead into one. But Tendrick has no help in the one as Ottenbacher leaned back to get a run with help from Chris White. He gets too much of a run, gets up into Whoa. Tidrick. That allows the top three to break away on the inside. Musgrave, Weaver, and now Maine shoots to the outside from the third spot. As the field gets ready to come to speed, let's kick a little asphalt for you. Extended from Talladega. Wrecking in the back. Caution out. Yellow flag will fly. Here they come roaring, and it's the 23 truck again involved, and that is going to be Toby Ritters. I think Toby went from the bottom of the apron up to the top of the racetrack and collected a couple of trucks, and I don't think it is Toby Ritters. It's not Ritters. It's Eric oh, Chaney, Chaney in 71. It's Big, it's Big Bird. Oh, he came up in front of the teammate. Is Dan that Dan Lowder? Lowder? He came up in front of his teammate and just did not have enough space. And Big Bird gets taken out by the other yellow truck. <laughs> Big Bird. <laughs> Big Bird. Big Bird. And Dan Lowther. Let's watch this again. Big Bird on and board, Dano. On board again. Uh, high above Blimp View Drone presented by Chopper All-American Pools. Watch this. I can tell you from experience. It's Lowther. Oh, he hit yeah. him. He hooked him in the left rear. I can tell you from experience, he was trying to get hooked up with Lowther. That's what he was trying to do there. Fell to the back and was just trying to get up there, hook up with his teammate. But I can tell you from experience. And Lowther hit him. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> coming in with too much speed. I can tell you from experience in that TeamSpeak channel right now, as they're in communications with each other, that's probably not exactly a friendly conversation. Why can't we be friends? Probably, let's go down there. A lot of beacon, <laughs> there's probably a lot of beacon going on. Let's, let's, let's go down uh, there. The let's go birds. down there and find out what's going on. <laughs> let's find the in-car audio and find out what, what they're saying. So, uh, oh, I'm, sure I'll get a, I'm sure I'll get a play-by-play -play in the morning. Uh, We're all in the, the hell with play-by-play. -play. We're going to get it right now. Let's go to Dan Lowther, and we'll get his take on what happened here. As we're under caution for the third time. Yeah. Dan Lowther, it's Wesley out at LSR TV. You got a copy? Yeah, I got you. What happened? Uh, Eric said that he didn't see anybody behind him, and then all of a sudden I was right there. And, uh, 
it didn't end well. So Greg says that you were. He thinks uh, that that uh, that that Eric was waiting for you so he could hook up with you. Yeah, yeah. Eric was trying to hang back a little bit, but I don't think we timed our closing speed correctly. Okay. How badly damaged is your car, your truck? Uh, I didn't get any damage there. I've, I've been repairing the damage from uh, the earlier incident. All right, man. So a lot of racing left to go. Thank you very much. There's Dan Lowther. There's his take on it. And uh, I'm trying to uh, possibly find, uh, trying to find, uh, what's his face? Uh, Big Bird. Uh, oh, Eric he's Cheney. He's not here. He's left the building. <laughs> That's the one I was trying to get. Uh, we would be demonetized here on LSR TV if we brought uh, brought Cheney up into the booth. <laughs> no, we would. Uh, if he got out of line, we'd boot him immediately. But uh, we, you know, it's just the heat of the moment. Uh, Dan Lowther giving his description of what happened, and he's he's saying basically Eric said he didn't see him, and and I mean you, you're saying you thought that he was trying to hook up with him to to draft partner with him. I think so, so because he came. <laughs> <laughs> he came up. And we are not going to repeat what if our producer just said in our ear. <laughs> yeah, if you guys can hear what our producer says in our ear sometimes, <laughs> you would wonder how in the <laughs> you would wonder how in the world would we be able to keep a semi straight face it together? Hold, how doing we hold this. it together? LSR TV uh, late nights continue. Yeah. <laughs> I think going back to what we were talking about there, I think he was just trying to get up there, fall in line with his teammate Dan Lowther, but it just didn't work out for him. Just had, didn't quite have enough speed, or Lowther had too much speed one or the other and it just didn't work out for him and that's a tough one there Cheney had said in the pre-race he's like you know I think I might have a shot here and Dan Lowther agreed he's like hey it's Talladega we might be able to pull off a one two here well uh they did the old one two step into the infield but uh not quite what they were hoping for The man for TRGA Motorsports is leading the way right now in the Atari number 13. That is Ryan Maines. Ryan, you got a copy. Doing pretty good out there so far. Ryan Maines, do you have a copy? Okay. Uh, apparently, Ryan not able to answer with us right now. So we will... Uh, let him get back into his box. I guess focus back on the race, and uh, we will try to continue on and get ready for a restart here. No one wants to talk to us right now. That's right. And remember, if your picks do not win, the winner of the race will get that $25. Compliments of the LSR TV Fan Winner Challenge. It's Eric Cheney says, Wesley, you are not making friends with me. <laughs> oh, wow. I just wanted to get the story, Eric. That's all I wanted. I wanted to get the story. I wanted to get your side of it in a professional sense, might I add. <laughs> All right, we'll get ready to come back for the restart, though, gentlemen. Pretty interesting second half, uh, opening eight laps we've seen so far, Greg. Yeah, it's been uh, been an interesting start to the second half. Couple of cautions here: Ryan Maines and Bruce Lee Weaver leading the way, and Weaver can't praise him enough of what he's been able to do so far in this cutoff race, mind you. Ryan Maines again leading the way. Bruce Lee Weaver in second. Tedrick followed by White. Audenbacher, Burke. We get ready to come back for the restart. By the way, I think Ellie Musgrave pitted, so I think she's fell back inside yeah, she the did. top 20. She, she came in, got some of that yep. damage repaired. There you go. And they're going to make their way back inside the Geico restart zone for what will be the final 30 laps here. When they come to the line, 49. On the board, 40, now 49 complete, back underway. And on the restart, here comes Weaver, back at it again. <laughs> Weaver on the outside, to the bottom is Baines. Baines got Tindrick hooked up with him. 
And while that happens to the top side, it's White hooking up with Arnenbacher and Moore as they go to the back straight away here. They go pushing each other from the top to the bottom of the racetrack with Weaver leading them into the three, Greg. Weaver leading on the inside, hooked up with Chris White. Two-time winner on the cup side, has not won yet in the trucks, trying to get that first one here tonight in the 83. Could it come? But look at the outside. William Fletcher hooked up now with Ottenbacher. We haven't seen him in the truck series since he finished second a while ago. At uh, Was that Darlington all the way back? He finished second. And, and Fletcher, by the way, had a great run last week at the Daytona Road Course and in the Cup race at Daytona on Monday night as well. William Fletcher, he's up there. 30 laps to go here at... Talladega, John Audenbacher. He won the opening race at Daytona. Mr. Restrictor Plate trying to win here at Talladega. He's in the turn number three. Audenbacher on the outside. Here comes the machine. On the bottom, Weaver. Weaver's going to carry now White and Mains with him on the bottom of the racetrack, along with Tedrick, along with Frank Harris. How about Frank Harris there? He's in the battle now, if you will, Greg. He yeah, needs Frank. to have a good run to get into the playoffs. He was fast in practice, too, in that number 11 truck. Look who's third in line now on the outside. Say hello to Dan West Jr. in the number 55. The points leader leads the series and wins. And here he is coming up through the field after spinning earlier today up into the top five now. Back straight away. Into three. Audenbacher on the top shelf. Going to carry those guys with him there. There's Fletcher. Fletcher hung out to dry now. It's Audenbacher went from the top to the bottom, hung out in front of Weaver. Weaver with White, with Mains, with Tedrick on the inside. Top side now with Fletcher. Dan West Jr. A second pack forming on the outside lane like there is on the inside. You see Devin West back there in the number five. Three-time winner in the trucks this year. He's trying to get that outside lane hooked up again as Fletcher to the lead in that number 28. Fletcher out in front. West in second now. Dan West Jr. starting to come to the front. Carl Burke. How about Carl Burke? Trying to get in the playoffs for the postseason. He's doing good in truck 53. Nice run by the... 53 of Burke on the inside. He's been close. Oh, oh Tedrick. trouble. Frank That's Harris Tedrick. involved. We I think it's Tedrick in 72 and a couple oh, others have crashed. Frank Harris is involved. Tom uh, Tom Green. I see Corey Walters. Stab now. Sean Brightsman up against the inside concrete barrier. The big one under 30 to go. It all comes unglued. Replay presented by American Pools. No sponsor from Elmer's Glue tonight. Oh, Maine's bobbled and gotten the tick. Oh, and no. that's what started it. Up in front of the field. Harris in the nowhere wall. to go. Paulus in the 58. He led some laps early. There's Lowther scooting in. I don't think I don't think Stussy got involved in the number 70. He came to a stop by yeah, I think he just stopped to damage. avoid. Yeah, I think he just stopped to avoid there. You got Sean Brightsman up against the safer wall barrier on the inside of the racetrack. And there is the man that was 16th in the points on the outside of the cutoff in the top 12. Frank Harris needing to win this race or at least have a good points day to try to get in the top 12. His truck is trashed. I think he can do a, re a repair and get back out there. That truck was great in the number 11. It looks like he's already got it fixed. Remember, one fast repair available to these drivers in the Northwest Truck Series. Several wow. of them already having used it here from earlier stuff. And is Weaver going to come pit road? Yes, he is. Yeah. So a couple drivers heading down pit road, but the top two stay out, Fletcher and West. Fletcher and West will stay out behind the pace car. Everyone else will come down to the pit lane. Yeah, blare those air horns. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce Lee Weaver, Carl Burke, Ryan Maines, Robert Gamble, James Vining, Paulison, Walters, Lowther, Grande, Stussy, Green, Brightsman, Ray Fournier, all on the pit road for service. 
We are supposed to go to commercial break with 25 laps to go. We are going to do just that, a quick commercial break. And when we return, unless it becomes chaotic, we'll take you, cost, uh, we'll take you commercial free to the checkered flag here for Talladega. The Northwest Night Racing Truck Series on LSR TV, your home for sim racing. There's a lot of esports leagues at iRacing, but there's nothing like swag, special events, series sanctioning. The Simulation World Auto Group swag is excited for you to become a member and join our team. Weekly competition includes Stadium Super Trucks, the Outlaw Super Late Model Series, the Short Track Cup All-Star Challenge, the winter heat during the winter months, and so much more. Special events and venues is also throughout the year. We want you to be a part of the team. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram by looking up Swag Esports Racing and jump on board with the Shark. Big money, fun times. We want you to be a part of what is the new Simulation World Auto Group. All the details again on Swag Racing Esports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll see you at the virtual tracks across the world. And if not, follow broadcast coverage on LSR TV, the weekly racer in CRN Sports. Back here at Talladega, by the way, for the LSR TV Fan Winner Challenge, it ends in 20 laps to go. That's five laps from now, four to go whenever they come to the green flag. But uh, you have until 20 to go to pick your winners. The winner, if you get it right, you get $25 from 52 Media and LSR TV. If not, then that money goes to the winner of the race. I think that's pretty cool. That's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see uh Do we qualify? Can happen. we can we place picks? Can we can we place our pick? Well our producer <laughs> saying we can't jinx, but our producer I mean, says we hey, can't jinx uh, anybody worse than the fans have, yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's go back to the Geico restart zone here in just a moment. Ugh. I don't, I'm not doing it because every time I pick somebody, they wreck. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Here they come back to the Geico restart zone. William Fletcher leading the way along with Dan West Jr. And green flag out with Chris White, Allenbacher, and Devin West in the top five. Drivers we have not mentioned. And now with 25 to go, we're mentioning them now here in the late rally, Greg. 
Yeah, Dan West Jr. coming through the field, leads the series and wins. How about his son, Devin, up behind him in that number five with Anbacher in there. Three LS Team LSR TV members up in the top line now, and they rock it down the backstretch to clear the inside line. Back straight away. Remember, it takes him about a lap and a half to get up to speed. Into turn number three, Dan West Jr., the man that has just dominated the season. Looking for now his ninth win if he pulls it off. He's out in front. Audenbacher in second. He won Daytona at the beginning of the year. He's trying to win here in the last race of the year for the points. Before the playoffs at Atlanta. And they're across the line. 24 to go. Back to one. Yeah, it's go time now, Wesley. There's no more waiting around here to try and start or try to hang back and dodge the big one. Big one's come and gone. Well, at least one of them has. Now it's go time. You got to get up there and face your fear of being caught up in the big one to try to get up and make a run for this race win. Yeah, you definitely got to take it to the whip. It's go time for sure. As they go to three, to the inside. 23 to go. Dan West Jr., John Audenbacher, followed by Chris White, Devin West. What is our producer laughing about? I'm trying to figure out. What are you talking? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Dan West Jr. leading the way. Chris White in the 83 to the outside. And he's got Chris Torres hooked up with him in that number 99. Devin West has gotten down to the inside as well. So the top three there that broke free on the outside, now they're leading on the inside. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. Uh, back to work. <laughs> I am not going to repeat what I just read. <laughs> we are on the back straightaway to three. Dan West Jr. John Audenbacher on the outside. Here comes Chris White. Devin West on the inside as well. Back stretch or, or, or through the triangle, actually, at a four. That message has got me all discombobulated. <laughs> they work their way off a of four back to the start finish line. You have one lap to place your picks, place your bets. I better LSR get mine in TV now. gambling closes in one more lap. <laughs> Who will it be? In. My pick is in the chat. Uh, do I get the pick? You get, you get the pick. If he you wins, got, I get the money. Get around. If he wins, I get the money, right? Yes. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to. All right. Mine's in. All right. All right. There we go. My pick is in. Oh, he's <laughs> going with the guy who's won the most races this season. I the am. race leader, Dan West Jr. I am. My dark horse is... My dark horse is Audenbacher. Has anybody picked Audenbacher? Yeah. Shoot. And, and somebody's already picked Dan West Jr. Time Never out. mind. If he crashes, it's not my fault. Someone else did. <laughs> hey, he's trying to steal the money from the people. Uh, Dan West Jr. leading the way. Audenbacher second. Both those drivers have been picked in the front two there. Devin hooked up with Chris White. Well, hooked up side by side with Chris White, I should say. As Fletcher hanging back there in the 28. Here comes White on the outside now. All right, here they come back across the line into turn number four down the trioval. So the picks are closed. No more picks. Eric Cheney's picking. Jerry Morgan's picking. You're closed. Nick, none. None. Uh, uh, Bobby, Bobby, you're probably. I know you got him. I just, I just did it. Just thinking, you know, somebody else will win it. That's fine. He's out in front. Dan West Jr. Looking for his ninth win on the series. Audenbacher in second spot. Chris White is third. But, you know, here's the thing, though, Greg. I have the proverbial jinxing of drivers that I pick to win races. And and I hope that doesn't happen to Dan West. Fortunately, West can afford it if it does happen because exactly. he's locked into the playoffs. Matter. That's right. And will be the number one seed in the playoffs as he leads the series in wins. So he can afford it, but he will no doubt wants to get win number nine on the season. 
as Chris White on the outside now trying to get up there. If he gets botched in the playoffs or in this race, it's okay because he's already in the postseason. Which, by Might the way, flat. it's Atlanta. Atlanta next Thursday night. Do we get to go to, six to go. Do we get to go to Six Flags over Georgia while we're down there? Virtually? Sure. Yeah. Let's do it. Audenbacher on board with him to the left rear. Ooh, a bobble from White as Torres kind of getting up there with him. Presented by Swag. Meanwhile, pole sitter Stefan O'Hare in the number one. Actually, excuse me, outside pole sitter Stefan O'Hare. He's making his way up. I forgot Bruce Lee Weaver got around him in the number 40 who started on the pole. He has fought back to 16th in the fourth. By the way, your pick, Ellie Musgrave. She's up to seventh now, up 13 spots since the last race start. Look at her come. The female driver, Ellie Musgrave, trying it up there, fifth in line, in the inside line. <laughs> I about fell out of my chair. <laughs> Back straight away into three. Here they come. O'Hare starting to get loose. <laughs> I had to catch my balance so I didn't bust my you-know-what into the three as Dan West Jr. brings him in the corner. White is in second. Ottenbacher third. West fourth. And fifth. Climbing. Devin. Looking more. How about more? In Dennis the Moore truck. coming up in that 34 truck. Hey, by the way, speaking of the Atlanta Braves, they're in the National League Championship Series. And normally he puts the Atlanta Braves all over truck number 34. I'm going to stand by for, I'm going to stand by on that one for just a second. I got to look something up as far as that goes. But we're still leading, still side by side, West Jr. And White. Battling it out for the lead right now. Whoa! Bobble in the back. That was Bruce Lee Weaver. Whoa, hold on there. Oh, and hey Wesley. Yes. I was right. It's me and you in the NLCS. Dodgers Braves. Wow. Shades of last year, I believe it was. Well, last year it was the the Dodgers went to the World Series. No, that was two years ago. We oh yeah, choked. that's it. We choked last year. Yes. Ooh, Bobby. If, if, if he might know something we don't know. <laughs> oh, and there'll be a lot of Taco Bell. Like, ole. <laughs> yeah, Bobby Bergstrom, $100 donated to the NWTS. If yes. Roy Grande gets the win, for reference, ole. Roy Grande was 12th last time by. Oh, but he gets Oh, look at Grande. Look at him sticking out of the bottom. And remember, here at Talladega, you can go below the yellow line. You can go below the yellow line, and it's legal. Taco wings for everybody if Roy Grande wins. 15 to go, and now 14 when they come to the line. Ladies and gentlemen, put the women and children to bed. Katie, bar the door and lock it. It's about to get good here in Talladega. Who will be the winner? And by the way, there's a lady in the mix in the name of Ellie Musgrave. She's inside the top 10. Back across the stuck into two. Dan West Jr. leads on and Bucker second. White and West Torres. How about the 99 of Torres? I'm impressed with the job he's done tonight in the 99. Torres has done a fantastic job in that number And that's a look at his motor. It passes technical inspection. <laughs> And the 99 Chevrolet and the 89 of Audenbacher, excuse me. Oh, they're just practicing a little bump draft. Yeah, that's definitely social distancing not being used. Huh? Whoa, on the oh, right up on oh. the back of the end of Dan West Jr., who slides up almost into Chris White. 13 this is Torres to go. opening the door to the 99. He'll hook up to the outside lane. Turn two, back straight away. West, out in front. Here comes Chris White. Did anybody pick Chris White to win? No, no they Chris didn't. White. Chris White is 
still not pick and remember 20 laps to go the picks closed but remember if a driver who was not picked wins, wins the race they get the $25 since I picked Ellie Musgrave I'm gonna say this right now if Ellie Musgrave does win I'm donating the $25 to Ellie so she will still get the money if she wins tonight must be good working full-time again oh yeah <laughs> Back again, cross after the being line. Out, after being out for seven months, yeah. Yes, sir, for sure. Starting to hopefully see the world coming back to normal again. As Dan West Jr. is out in front. Ollenbacher, second, wide is third. I'm not going to repeat what the producer said. Down the back straight away. Three wide, three wide, three wide. In the quarter wide. three, Dan Four West. Wide, maybe? I thought he was going to try to go for it. They might. No, nope, Carl Burke was wide. thinking for for a second deep in the field, but he thought better of it. Hey, what a run for Carl Burke, too. Yeah, if he's he done could, a phenomenal if he could finish job. decently, he could have a good chance to go into the top 12. The top 12 will fight for a championship. Ooh, Fletcher. Fletcher looking low on Team LSR TV. 11 to go. Ali Musgrave in fifth right now in that number 16. Was scored sixth at the line, but she's fifth in line on the inside. That's their three wide once again. Now she's got fifth. And Bruce Lee Weaver going to duck down behind her. 11 laps to go. Out in front. Dan West Jr. Trucks driving all below uh -oh. the line. Trouble Torres got into Tom Green in the back. Tom Green comes weaseling back up for the pack. Gun. Wow. How did Carl Burke no save caution. that? No How caution. No caution. How did Carl Burke just save that in that number 53 truck? Because he's that good. He's hungry. He wants to have a good, decent finish. He stays inside the top 12. And ladies and gentlemen, as they roar at speed through the Geico restart zone out of turn four through the trioval, Flagman shows him 10 to go. 10 remaining here at Talladega. 10 laps to go here Two open in hands. this one. <laughs> Two. <laughs> 10 to go. <laughs> Our producer said the flagman Barney sent the field two open palms. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. Yeah. In the three, here we go. Boy, oh boy, here we go. This has been a good one so far. It's been a good one. Dan West Jr. in the comes down to this. Five. Team LSR TV, one, two, three, but it's a couple of different characters here. Ottenbacher having a nice run. Remember, he won Daytona, and Devin West in the five trying to get up there. Here comes Weaver with one from Grande. Roy Grande, oh. Taco Bell. $100 Weaver. for the series if he How? wins this race. What a look at this. Do you see Grande? Oh, my goodness. Ole. Here he Taco. comes. Liv Moss! Liv Moss! No, it's Liv Talladega! Liv Talladega! <laughs> Look at this! Grande has hooked up with now. Bruce Lee the Weaver! The possum in fifth! Where in the world did he come from? Yes, sir! Oh, Atlanta 24! Weaver. Oh, no! He turned him! Oh. Ollenbacher! Grande! The big the stab one! Stab down! Walter! Save all! Crashed! In turn number three, the big one, under 10 to go. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. This is on board, board with Musgrave. Ellie Musgrave. Watch this. It starts right there. And she, did she get through it? Not bad. Might have a little bit of damage on the front, but she is in good shape. Well then. Wow. Let's Take watch a look this at again. this from turn three. Oh my goodness. Looks like a shot came from the 18 of Grande. Grande got to the left rear of Weaver. And they all crashed from there. Audenbacher, Walter stabbed now. Hooters and Taco Bell have wrecked each other again. They were trying to put together their taco wings. That didn't Man, work. They just cannot make that work. Can it they? just got burned out. <laughs>
And guess what? Dan West Jr. got through it. So did William Fletcher. And Devin West as well. And Ellie Musgrave got through it as well. She's in fourth. Uh, we, but she's got uh, damage. We, They're all going to come yeah, to the She's coming down the pit road. She's going to get the damage repaired. My goodness. Eight to go. It looked like there's a haze or a smoke over the over the broadcast screen. Oh, my goodness. They tore some trucks up. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness, Greg. There's just something. There's just something about Taco Bell. You know, they're just, I don't understand it. Ellie Musgrave overshot her pit stall. That's going to hurt her. Liv Moss. Wow. Liv Talladega. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Nitty gritty time here. We're going to be inside five to go when we go back green. Can we take a break? We'll be right back and get ready for the finish from Talladega. And I think we're not done crashing yet. Truck, yeah. Talladega, yeah. LSR TV, yeah, back with more in a moment. Back here at Talladega, getting ready <laughs> for the restart. It will be six laps when they come back to the green. We just got a visit from Eric Cheney, Big Bird, and then he disappeared. We wanted to talk to him, Greg. We wanted to get his feelings on things. Maybe we'll get him after the race. 
Here we go, Fletcher. Gonna bring him Somebody green. just said, keep it on the 18 of Grande. He's gonna send it. He's gonna send it like somebody running from immigration to the border. <laughs> We're ready to go. Watch the 18. He's gonna be, uh, let's see here, in the top 20. Well, he's still in the top 20. We're back underway, green flag. And this will be six laps to go. And I got a feeling, Greg, we're not done crashing yet. I don't know. Oh, Ellie missed the shift in the 16. Something happened to the 16 truck. How about she Tom Green? Not. So, oh, Ellie Musgrave with a problem. Yeah, something's wrong with the 16 truck. She did not go on that restart. Holy cow. Problem on the 16 off the pace. Oh, Ellie Musgrave, look at this. Paulson. How about Tom Green in the lead? And we even talked about this story. Look at Tom Green leading. He's making a front. Oh, he oh, look out, Fletcher and the dead West Jr. John Audenbacher are rocking again. Chris White upside down. Chris White upside down. Carl Burke misses it. Carl just got turned by Torres. They're rocking again. Oh, my goodness. What just happened wow. in this race? Holy cow. Caution out. Finding hooked Fletcher there in the middle. You see Chris White and Finding doing some synchronized spinning there. Problem was White was upside down. And then there's after the fact. Oh, Fletcher again. Holy cow. Holy cow. Carl Burke, is that Burke's car? And that's Grande. He got collected again, Taco Man. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. I told you, Greg, I had a feeling it wasn't over yet. We're wrecking again. Typical Talladega. Here comes Ellie Musgrave off the bit lane. Ellie is back out. Hmm. Huh. I think she missed a shift on that initial restart, which is what led to the or led to her falling off pace. But hey, this Charles, just reset your difficult. broadcast feed, bud. Reset your broadcast. It's 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 glitching the the uh, the audio too, if you can. Yeah. All right, so we'll reset them again. And Greg, we have Tom Green out in front in truck number 77. What uh, what it would mean to the driver to get it done. The truck number 77, Tom Green, uh, he is currently in. All right, it's better now. Tom Green in truck number 77. I'm trying to look at his points. He is the first truck outside the top 12, Greg. If he could win this race in his 19th start for the series this year, he's got one top five, three top tens. If he could win this race, he will transfer into the playoffs. What a moment that would be. And 25 bucks. No one picked Tom Green in our pick and pool there. So That's right. Tom Green can get in the playoffs and take him $25 Renos. Three laps to go. And I believe we're approaching overtime. This is probably going to be overtime number one coming up. No, actually, we have not. It is. It is overtime number one. Yep. <clears throat> Well, technically, have we completed have we completed the scheduled distance yet? No, we will in two laps. Okay. So, uh, so by the time we do get the green flag, it will be overtime number one, though. Correct. Yes. Tom Green. How special would it be, Greg, for Tom Green outside the cutoff in 13th to win this race, get a win, and transfer into the playoffs? How big would it be not only that to win the little class bonus? 
her cash wow. bonus. Sorry, we're getting word that there may have been uh, an, some officiating errors on uh, on the part of iRacing here. So we're hearing that some drivers will be receiving EOL penalties on this restart. One of them will be Ellie Musgrave in the 16. Hearing there may be others as well. So waiting to hear from race control. Uh, wow. Who that will be, but one of them will be Ellie Musgrave, but it sounds like there are multiple drivers who received black flags when they weren't supposed to, perhaps, and will be receiving EOL penalties to clear it up. And by the way, to the 30-plus people that are watching, those also on Facebook, as well as on the broadcast channel for LSR TV, thank you. Man, what better thing to be doing at almost 2 o'clock in the morning Eastern time? One, one o'clock in the morning, Central LSR TV time for Charles Wooten. And, of course, at, uh, what is it, uh, almost 10.41 p.m. where yep. you're at? Yeah, yep. we're getting close to 11 p.m. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. Uh, where I'm at, brother. Yeah, okay, so Robert Gambill in the number 54 will is another truck who received the black flag for... Uh, but why? No, no, we're not sure. Chris Torres as well. He is also... Uh, the black flags have been rescinded, but... They have been given EOL penalties as the punishment. Something may have happened with Pit Road, perhaps, Wesley. Maybe Well, something... we saw them all crashing, and we had them reckoning, you know, they went to Pit Road. So I bet you they came in under Pit, uh, pit Before under Pit Road was open, I think yeah. that's what it was. Came to the pits yep. before the pits was open. Ah, uh, yes, Super Hammer, it's just you. Waiting for word. <laughs> waiting for word. If there are any other penalties, Torres, Musgrave, and Gamble so far. All three of them are at the back. They're tail end on the longest line, which is the inside line. Looks like that's going to be it, Wesley. So three trucks coming down for pitting before the or coming down the pit road to get damage repair before the pits opened. That's what happened. Oh, blend oh, rule as well. And the blend on the line violation on Ellie Musgrave. That's what happened and to that'll Ellie. that'll get you. That'll get you. I still make that mistake quite often, actually, coming so up before the blend line rule. So the cup race on Sunday, won by Denny Hamlin, went through three overtime periods. This is overtime number one. Can Tom Green win this race? The biggest restart of his virtual eye racing career is right now. Back to the Geico restart zone. Green flag, overtime, number one. We're underway. And look at B.J. Tidrick in the 72. He's on the outside. He's got the lead in the 72. Trying to get a win at Talladega and a rare truck start for him as well. He's got the lead. O'Hare behind him, two-time winner this season. He's got a run on the outside. And here comes Annenbacher. By the way, yeah, all these drivers back in the mix in the top five. Down the back straight away. Stefan O'Hare to the lead. The pole truck in 41. Yeah. Pulls up in front of Tendrick. Green on and Bacher behind him. Here's Stephen West on the outside. He's hooked up with Jeff Stab now. The top shelf where Grandma hides the cookies from Grandpa is working in the Angels Expressway off turn four. But Ottenbacher got in the west, and that slowed up the momentum. Here we go through the trioval, coming to the white flag. One lap to go. Tidrick and Green, can they get to the line? Whoa. Yes, they do. White flag, this race is official. Two and a half miles to go. Swag, one to go here at Talladega. And here we go with Tidrick out in front. Green is there. He's still in the hunt. Also is now O'Hare. He's hooked up now with the driver, Fletcher. And now, of course, Stab now, where Devin West is hooked up with John Onenbacher. A couple of Team LSR TV teammates with Stab now there. And now O'Hare's going to hook up with them. They're bombing and weaving. They're blocking and dicing down to the inside. It's still going to be Tendrick on the bottom. Green is there. Green is there. Final run into three. Three wide for second. It's all Tidrick in front. Here comes Green with the peak. Tidrick throws a block. It's all or nothing now. This is for the win. Three wide for the lead and the win. As they come through the trial, they oh, off the of Fletcher. Oh, they make contact. Tindrick. Devin West crashes. Audenbacher crashes. They hold it together. Tindrick. It's going to be Stefan O'Hare from the pole. He'll win in 41. Did it. <laughs> Chris White will finish second. Tindrick third. 
Wow, Greg. Oh, my goodness. Stephen O'Hare gets it done. Unbelievable finish. Can we see the replay one more time? The last lap of the back straightaway. What a finish. Stephen O'Hare has won this race. The pole truck in 41. One more time. Watch him on the back straightaway. I was watching Team LSR TV. They were beginning to hook up on the outside lane there, Greg. Yeah, they looked like they had a strong run on the outside there. Ottenbacher, West, and Stab now of Team Look LSR TV. But Weasel watch that move there. by O'Hare. The winning move up there in the middle. And then there's contact as, as Devin West tagged and got into Fletcher. Fletcher and Devin West just got what? slung like what? a rag doll. Holy cow. Did, did you we just got see that? We got, we, we got to run on board with Devin West to find out what happened as they go across the start finish line. It looked like he got stuck in an armor band, a rubber band or something slingshot. What? But let's take another look at that. Watch the five. My Devin West in the five. Wow. Watch this in the five. This is on board with, oh, this is not going to be good. This is going to be fun. <laughs> we apologize in advance. Again, oh, my goodness. You have motion sickness. He bounces off the left rear, or the right rear, and then he gets hit again. Look out. Boing. Oh, oh he got stuck in the wall. Oh, but it looked like he flew through the air like a, he did. Like an airplane. <laughs> You know how many times that's happened need, to me. We need it from another angle, races. okay? That that just doesn't do justice. But we, we oh, they're celebrating demolition derby style. Those Look at are this. teammates, O'Hare, King, and more. Yes, sir. Here is the. Well, can we show it one more time? I, I that just didn't do that didn't do justice. I'm right, sorry. Two. I the, 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 one, two, two, two or three camera angles had the five slinging into the pit wall or something, you know? And he's stuck on the pit wall from the camera view on the on board. I don't get that. But anyhow, what a show! Here's the results from Talladega, presented by Sawblade.com. Stephen O'Hare beats Chris White. Greg twenty eight thousandths of a second. Tidrick third. Tom Green can't hold his head down. A good run for him. It might give him enough to get in the points. He is in fourth. Stephen Paulison fifth. Dennis Moore, Dan Stussy, William Fletcher, John Audenbacher, Chris Torres. A hell of a show here at Talladega. There's your top ten. You're from 11th on back. Robert Gamble recovers after the EOL penalty to finish one spot short of the top 10. Corey Walters, Tyler King, Dan West Jr. will enter the playoffs as the number one seed. Finishes 14th. Jeff Stab now, final truck on the lead lap in 15th. Devin West with the DNF as well. Frank Harris, they were caught up in that last lap incident. Ellie Musgrave, James Vine, and Carl Burke, your top 20. And to run out the rundown, including Mains, Grande. He had a shot. All these drivers, all in the back, had a shot. Got all tore up. Dan Lowther, 23rd. He had a shot to win. Bruce Lee Weaver, heartbreak for him. Toby Ritter, Sean Breitzman, Big Bird, Eric Cheney, 27th, and Ray Fournier, 41 laps down. The first truck that crashed to put us under our first caution. All right, so, Greg, I know you got to get out of here. I'm going to handle post-race interviews, but what's your final take here tonight at Talladega? Everything we bargained for. All right, everybody take a nice deep breath because, wow, what just happened here at Talladega? Stefan O'Hare steals the win on the final corner. We've seen that time and time again at Talladega. A great performance by some drivers that we normally don't get to talk about here on LSR TV. So it was awesome to see them up there. Looking forward to kicking off the playoffs next week just up the road in Hotlanta here on LSR TV, your home for sim racing playoffs kicking off next week. We'll see you then. Always fun working with you, Greg. I'll work with you tomorrow night for the On the Rails uh, Paints Fall Brawl. It should be a good one from Irwindale. Enjoy the rest of your Friday, bud. Thanks, bud. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. I'll see you and tomorrow when we night come in back, Irwindale. Yes, Irwindale. When we come back, it's the Clan War Servers post-race wrap-up. We will talk to the top three and wrap her up here from Talladega. A wild one out of nowhere, like a thief in the night. Stefan O'Hare comes back from being on the pole to win at the checkered flag.
gamers, hosting gamers worldwide. It is time for the Clan War servers post race wrap up here at Talladega after a wild one. Stefan O'Hare winning from the pole. We'll talk to him in a moment. But first, we normally talk to the top three, but I wanted to grab this guy. Truck number 77, Tom Green. Again, he was the driver outside of the playoffs in 13th coming into the start of this race. It is a good race finish for you. Tom, what is your thoughts of being so close winning this race at Talladega and possibly being able to maybe make the top 12 to the playoffs by a run you had this evening? Yeah, that's what I was hoping for, trying to get that run to make it to the playoffs. So, yeah, had a good final run there and had a little bit of damage, so it hindered me a little bit. But, yeah, trying to push TJ up there to the win, but um, just couldn't, uh, he got high a couple times on a couple of the corners, and I couldn't push him hard enough, so I got out of the gas and uh, ended up in fourth. But I'll take that finish, and hopefully it gets me enough into the chase. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely uh, can, uh, tabulating the points as we speak. Hopefully we'll know something here by the time we sign off. But, uh, but man, how did it feel to be up there in the front of that truck 77 because i know you've struggled you've been caught up in wrecks and accidents engine problems handling to everything went good for you here tonight you've come so close to winning this race Oh yeah, we all in the Da Vinci team here, we all had an awesome setup. We were just awesome fast and you could just pull up on anybody and yeah, we had an awesome setup and uh, yeah, we were as fast as anybody out there. So it was a good race. I enjoyed the heck out of it. I, I know that uh, James Vining uh, has to be happy for you. Oh yeah, he is. He had got crashed out there. So he's a uh, you know, bummer for him. I, I feel sorry for him. Dang it. I wish we were all up there. Finish one, two, three, four, five, all of us. So, but we'll get there. All right, there's Tom Green again, the driver, the number 40, uh, 77 entry. See if he makes it in the round of 12 for the playoffs. Round one next week at Atlanta. Third place going to B.J. Tidrick in the number 72. B.J., craziness here tonight at Talladega. You survive it. Third, what's your take of tonight's crazy race? Oh, I tried to just hang out back at the start of that thing with Brightsman and Stab now. And uh, we had a good long run there to start with. Almost made it through a full fuel run. But uh, the guys I was back there trying to hang out with to try to keep straight and keep clean ended up causing the first wreck. So I was like, ah, heck with hanging out with those guys. So I went ahead and tried to pick my way through. Uh, got up front, got torn up a little bit, had to go to the backup truck, and then uh, found myself in a good spot there right at the end. And, um, you know, we actually I led the last couple laps, but I was trying to pack up that 41 on the outside because I knew that the outside was fast. I'd made a lot of passes out there earlier, and I kept trying to pack them up, but I didn't have enough to sack up and go out there and leave that vulnerable inside. So I just tried to play the uh, conservative game, and it bit me, and I wound up third. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely was a crazy race for sure, bud. But I know you did everything that you could to finish in third. Let me th let me let you thank your sponsors, and uh, we'll let you go, bud. Uh, I don't have any sponsors. I just got, you know, my wife lets me come out and play once in a while, so um, <laughs> that's cool. But, uh, no, I mean, uh, change the paint scheme on the truck. Thought it was kind of cool. This is a neat little paint scheme. but uh, It is. It's sharp looking. Halloween's around the corner. Yeah, that was my mask. <laughs> no, it was, a, it was a good night. You know, I, I like coming out and running the trucks once in a while. I just don't have a lot of time to dedicate to a setup, and I figured Talladega, you guys hold her down. What's the worst that could happen? Air the tires up and go. And by the way, B.J. Tidrick will be one of the drivers in action. That will be at uh, Talladega for the Cup Cars on Monday. That's B.J. Tidrick again, third place. Second place uh, going to Chris White, truck number 83. A uh, couple of the wins on the Northwest Cup Series, but still looking for that first truck series win this season. Chris, you tried as best as you could. You fall up spot one shy second. What's your take of the race tonight at Talladega? You know, you know, Talladega, I just, I, it's a track I don't really particularly like coming to. Uh, it's pretty intense, uh, bumper to bumper there. Um, it was an exciting race. We had some good racing going on there for most of it. Um, some good uh, green flag segments and uh, had a fast truck, certainly. I uh, got up there and led some laps and uh, got caught up in that one little wreck there. And uh, unfortunately, we, we still had our fast repairs so we could get down there and get that fixed and uh, get back out there and make a run for it. And and uh, I thought uh, for a second I might have it. I saw it. I was that close. I think it was 28 thousandths of a, a second off and uh, probably that close to making the playoffs. Uh, we'll see. Well, I mean, again, th th this race uh, started off comfortably. It was a good run. And then all of a sudden, you know that it's coming. You know that the wreck's happening. What's the mindset of knowing that it's happening? You're just hoping you're not in it. 
<laughs> well, you know, it, when you come to Dega, it, it, this this really should have been called the Crapshoot 212 or whatever, um, <laughs> because it's just it's really what it is. It's a crapshoot. You come here, you don't know what to expect, and yes, you do know that the big one um, is out there. It's just it's just waiting to happen. You know it's going to happen. You just don't know when. And uh, but we had some good racing, like I said, and uh, you kind of you kind of try to. I guess play a mix of uh, uh, patience, but not really. I don't know. It's just you just got so much going on. You're just watching your mirrors. You're watching your temp gauges. You're just kind of just driving and, and trying to run your line and try not to change lanes without wrecking. It's just there's so much going on here at, da at Talladega, Daytona as well. Um, it's a very intense race for sure. Well, second place. Thank your sponsors. We'll get on out of here with you in the 83. Uh, yeah, we got uh, uh, GoPro on on the truck. I got an affiliate link on my uh, Facebook page there. Uh, the, the GoPro Hero 9 Black is out. I got one. It's a fantastic camera. If you're interested, go on the Facebook page there. Click the link. It kind of helps me out there a little bit. Um, we got to thank you guys up there, LSR TV. Uh, fantastic broadcast. Uh, and uh, we got that new sponsor coming on the Napa uh, store. And I uh, got to thank them for uh, coming in and, and helping us out and sponsoring uh, the playoffs coming up. And uh, looking forward to moving on to the next one. Thanks. All right. There's Chris White again. He'll be ready to go for the cup race at Talladega and then on to the Atlanta for the playoffs as well. It's Chris White again uh, outside of the top 12 for the truck series. Just having fun, but make no doubt about it. He's won two races on the Northwest iRacing Cup Series. He is in the playoffs. He'll make a run for a championship after their finale of the regular season at Talladega on Monday evening as well, right here on LSR TV. Finally, the winner from the pole, coming back, getting the victory, Stefan O'Hare. Stefan, congratulations to you. And even you got caught up in the accidents. Re re fixed, fixed repair. You got to love that fixed repair, don't you? Congratulations. Yeah, shoot, did I win? I, I closed my eyes there the last couple laps. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, you know, we, we stayed out of trouble for the most part. I uh, didn't have to use the fast repair, so that... Played out, uh, played out well, pretty well for us. Um, you know, Talladega's difficult, so I uh, fueled myself up with some Peels Mandarins before the race. Went to American Touch Up, grabbed some paint, touched up the paint scheme, and had uh, Nicole Bryan take some some pictures of that shiny truck before before the race, just to make sure that you know we had some good pictures to show. Because I figured it it could be coming back on a wrecker, but uh instead we got the checkers so pretty excited about that um really excited going into the playoffs uh no better way to to start that than than to take another victory in there um so yeah that's uh <laughs> that's where we're at and, and by the way mind you you're you're doing double for the championship you're not only running for a chance of the cup championship after the finale at, at, at talladega on monday uh but you also when you go to atlanta next week you're also running for a championship with both series yeah um you know i was kind of using the the cup cars the the mondays as, as a bit of a practice session track time for for the truck races um but uh, I've gotten pretty lucky, so we're we're up in the points there, um, and hopefully, you know, we can turn this into back-to-back -back Talladega victories. All right, buddy. Well, man, we'll let you thank your sponsors. Congratulations, and we will see you Monday right back here at Talladega. Try to sweep it like Bryceman did last week at Daytona Road Course. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I don't know. That was quite a performance from Sean. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, uh, like I said, Peels. Mandarins coming in and, and helping us. American Touch Up Paint, Nicole Bryan Photography, um, Beaver State Racing. We had um, wicked, wicked trucks today. The setups were were not there. Um, we we couldn't run up in the front. Uh, our, our strategy was really just to survive. Um, so unfortunate that the teammates had some bad luck there. But um, yeah. We're, we're excited with the victory, and, and we'll get prepared for the playoffs and, and hopefully grab another checkers on Monday night. All right. Thank your sponsors before I let you go. Uh, American Touch-Up, Peels, and Nicole Bryan Photography. Also, thank you guys, LSR TV. Look, we had quite a few people watching. Hopefully, they enjoyed the race. Um, and, uh, and I know we had a uh, league sponsor come on for the playoffs. 
um, I think it's West Bay, Napa. Um, so thank them for supporting the league uh, and, and everybody out here so we can, we can go and, you know, trade some paint and have some fun. All right, buddy, there's your winner. Again, getting it done, Stefan O'Hare, truck number 41. He wins tonight for the final race of the regular season for the Northwest iRacing Truck Series here at Talladega. And that will wrap up the Clan War Servers post-race wrap-up. Clan War Servers is the official communications partner of Live Sim Racing. Before we go, I want to unveil to you the 12 drivers that will be fighting for a championship beginning next Thursday night at Atlanta. 12 drivers have been decided, and here they are. Dan West Jr. obviously will be the number one seed with eight wins. De Jeff Stabnow, number two with six. Stefan O'Hare, who just won Talladega. He's the number three seed driver with three wins on the year. Devin West is fourth with three wins. Three wins for Sean Brightsman. He is fifth in the point standings. Finally, the regular season. Tyler King with no wins, but a good point season to go along with seven top fives and 11 top tens. He will be the number six seed. John Audenbacher in truck 09 with one win back at Daytona. He is the man that is in the playoffs in the number seven seed. Drivers with no wins, but are in the round of 12 include Corey Walters in the nine. Stephen Paulison in 58. The Catman, James Vining in the triple three. Ryan Maines in the number 12. And Dan Lowther will make the final cutoff in truck number 63. Just missing the playoffs is drivers like Tom Green, Christopher White, Frank Harris, Ray Fournier, Carl Burke, Roy Grande, and even William Fletcher. So those 12 drivers, again, will fight for a championship beginning next Thursday night right here at Talladega. And, of course, the champion will be crowned. We'll follow it down the road to the checkered flag in January 2021 on LSR TV. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage from Talladega. For executive producer of LSR TV, Charles Wooten. For Greg Rents, I'm Wesley Outland. Congratulations to Stefan O'Hare. He wins at Talladega from the pole. The wild race, the wild card. Now on to the playoffs. These 12 drivers we just mentioned will fight for a title beginning next week at Atlanta. God bless you all. Please keep on praying for America. Our next broadcast, by the way, is tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, with the On the Rails Paints Fall Brawl from Irwindale. Take care. This broadcast is the copyrighted work of LSR TV and may not be rebroadcast, retranslated, or used in any form without the express written consent of 52 Media LLC and iRacing.com Motorsports Simulations. LSR TV would like to thank you for your support and we hope you enjoyed tonight.